Hi everybody, this is the Our Place Super Duper Titanium Pan Pro, whatever you call, I just can't remember the name, it's so long. This is the new pan that is titanium and steel from Our Place. They say it's non-stick. We've done a video on it to show kind of how that works. This is the heat test. We're gonna go ahead and see if this really can withstand the heat because they say this can withstand a thousand degrees. Now there's a conflict in their literature that talks about different temperatures than that, but they said a thousand degrees, so I'm gonna crank up the heat and see how hot we get this pan, including testing this handle to see the heat transfer and if you can really hold this pan on when this thing's hot. Let's check it out. This is episode two. Are you ready for another test? Let's check it out and see how this baby performs. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn the stove on. We're gonna put it on high. We're gonna put the pan on and we're gonna let it heat up and see how hot this pan really gets. Let's go ahead and take our initial temperature, 108 degrees, 14 degrees, 23 degrees, starting to heat up. We're gonna let it go and rip and see how hot we get this baby. Now as this pan heats up, we're gonna go ahead and test a few things. We're gonna go ahead and test the heat in the center of the pan compared to the heat up to the edge in the outside of the pan. We're gonna check the exterior of the pan and we're gonna check this handle in various places because I'm very suspicious the way this handle is mounted onto the pan without a separation of bolts or some type of material, I think this thing's gonna get hot as hell. Now, I haven't tried this. It's the first time. I wanted to have you guys share this with me. So I'm letting it heat it up. And right now, we're gonna look at the inside of the pan in the center. We're at 345 degrees and rapidly climbing. The outside temperature uh, on the very edge or the inside temperature is 353 degrees. The handle where it meets the pan, it's already at 185 degrees right here. And the middle of the handle is at 94, no, 86 degrees. The very edge outside tip here is at 74 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and check my theory, see how this works. They say it can get to a thousand degrees. We're gonna let it rip and see how high we can get it. I'm gonna turn the fan on because it's starting to smoke because I have a little bit of oil in there. That's gonna burn off and this thing's gonna be absolutely crazy hot. Let's go and turn the fan on so that way we don't smoke the house up. Uh, I use avocado oil for all my cooking, so that's what's in here. They tell you that you're supposed to leave a coating on the pan when you're done cleaning it. So that's what I've done as well, I like coating. That's gonna burn off and we are now at 477 degrees. As you can see, there's smoke coming off the pan. We're gonna go and let it rip and see how hot this gets. One of the things that I'm interested in is if this is gonna discolor at all or start to change it has a beautiful kind of uh, satin stainless steel rim on the edge. I want to see what that does. I know when you cook super hot in a lot of pans, you'll get a brownish discoloration when you start burning things on there. Of course, I'm not putting any food in for this test. This is purely a heat test. We want to see how the heat is distributed across the pan. And I can tell you so far, I see no discoloration. Uh, there's no real odor at all. So I was curious about that titanium and stainless, and I'm looking at this to see if I'm getting any discoloration of the titanium or the stainless. And so far, I'm not gonna to touch this because I think this pan's really hot. We're gonna see how hot it's getting. Here we go. Just so you can see, I didn't cut the, cut the film because people make all sorts of crazy claims that, oh, you, you, you cheated, you didn't turn off the, you turned the camera off, you did something. So here you go, folks. I'm just honest, I tell it like it is. And we're gonna go ahead and check the temperature. So in the center of the temperature, 596 degrees, 596. The outside very top rim, which is outside of the titanium and stainless, 593 degrees, 593. And we got 590, now we're climbing up to 608 in the center, 612. If we go to the outside real quick, we're at about 608. So this temperature is very even right now. I'm actually pretty impressed. The distribution of heat from the center all the top is the same pretty much throughout the pan. A lot of pans get hot spots or cold spots. So we're gonna go ahead and check on the various places. So I'm at 670, 670 degrees, 660, 72, 71. So, we're at, so we'll call it 674, 75 in the front. Let's go real quick to the back at the bottom. We're at 681. Let's go ahead and go to one of the sides. We're at 680, 
680, 686, 687. So again, really, really even. Now let's go ahead and check out this handle because this is what I'm kind of nervous about is grabbing onto this if this thing's really hot. I can see that I'm getting some patinaing, some gold patinaing on this here. And I'm gonna give you a close-up of this so you can see this. This was not there. So the heat is changing the color of the stainless. Not untypical, I'm used to that and I mentioned that a little bit before. Let's go ahead and check out where it actually mounts to the pan and see what that's at. So right where it mounts to the pan, we're at 315 degrees and climbing 16 degrees, scalding hot, you can't touch it at all, you'll burn yourself. Let's go out to the brace area right here, right where you put the wooden spoon thingamajig to hold the, the wooden spoon. Let's check that. And we're at 100, 186 and rapidly climbing. So this right here is 186 degrees. We're gonna go to the center of the handle and we're now at 95 degrees, 95.9 .9 degrees at the handle. You see that there? And at the very tip, we're gonna be at, we're at 102.6 degrees at the tip. So my suspicions are coming to fruition. Um, my other pans that I use, I use my hex cloud pan. Uh, it can be hot as hell and, and the handle is stay cool. Um, I do not think this is gonna be a stay cool handle. I'm not sure if they market that, but they shouldn't that they do because this is definitely not staying cool. It is getting hot very quickly. So I'm getting patinaing on the outside. I'm getting some browning on the very, very top of the lid because that oil coating is obviously burnt now because I've burned it off. Um, there's no more smoke. There's no more smoke coming up, but I can feel the heat. It's really hot. Um, I'll do a close up so you can see the results of the pan here as we get done. But if I go to the top edge where that burnt oil is, we're at uh, 600 and 671 degrees. We're up to 671 degrees on this. Uh, center of pan, we're now up into the uh, 675, 671 in the center. Let's go down into the front of the pan and see where we're at with that. Now we're getting some differences in heat. Now we're at 700. So I'm going to do a, a check real quick to tell you verbally because as I stop, even a couple seconds, the temperature keeps going up. The goal is to see if we can get this to 1,000 degrees. I'm not sure if my burner will get it to that, although this burner is a very big burner on this gas uh, Viking stove and we're gonna go ahead and see and we're gonna go ahead and see if this burner gets it up. So we're gonna go ahead and check rapidly around the perimeter and see where we're at. We're at 750, 745, 740, 749, 747, 747, 753, 745, so 746. The outside rim 746. We're going to the center of the rim now. Center is only at 681, still 680. So the perimeter now is getting actually hotter than the center. So we're again at, uh, we're at 746 degrees on average on the outside, 739 as I left it up. And then we'll go on the inside here. We're at 753, 751, 743. And again, the center we're going to, we're down at 600 and 690, 690. So again, center is actually staying about the same now. The sides are actually increasing. So we are gonna have some heat dispersion that is a little bit hotter on the outsides. And we'll go ahead and check the top rim and see where that's at. That is at uh, 700, we're at 708 degrees, 707. I mean, we're at pizza temperature, folks, 700 degrees. Probably could do a pizza, throw that on there and, and have an incredible crust. We're gonna go ahead and check this outside handle. I would never touch this, by the way, never touch that. And this is at 267. So it's cooler, but 260 degrees, 7 degrees, 267, you're gonna burn yourself. Now we're gonna go and check this handle over here. And we're gonna see what this is at. Right where it joins the pan, we're at a whopping 300 and, uh, we're almost at 400, 300 and 356. We're at 356 degrees where it joins the pan. We're gonna go back out to this area where you may put your hand on to hold it. And now this area is at 162.5. Let's go to the side. We're at 138, 135 on the side. So it definitely is cooler here, but you will burn yourself. This is not something to hold. Now we're gonna to go to the center on top where you put your hand normally. And that is now at 
124.2 degrees, 124.2. We'll check the side in the center. And that is uh, noticeably cooler at 108, 108. So this is getting much hotter on the top. Um, I think as the heat comes up, it's staying hot on here, a little cooler on the sides. Then we're gonna go to the end again and check that out. And the end on this is uh, gonna burn the hell out of you. It's 336 degrees. That is extremely dangerous. For a pan to be 336 degrees on the end of this, uh, is very, very concerning. If you put your hand on this right now, you're going to cause the biggest blister in your life. Uh, I always recommend, obviously anyways, to use a pan uh, holder or a handle. But even with that, if I hold this on here, I'm going to see the heat. I can feel the heat starting to come through on this. Um, this glove is very good for protection, but you cannot grab that. Uh, I'm going to do a test on some other pans that we'll show you and see how that compares. But this right now is scalding hot. You'll burn yourself. Do not touch this without a handle when you're in high heat. So we're going for a thousand and I don't think we'll get there. We're at 700, 710 degrees, 706 degrees in the center. And now for the outside lower rim, we're at 772 degrees, approaching the 800 mark. And at the top, very top, we're at 700, 700 and 15 degrees at the very top of the rim. So pan definitely is performing. I mean, it definitely takes this heat. Uh, nothing else is going on. I don't see any discoloration. We're going to say this pan, the hottest it got on this stove was 718 degrees in the center, 718 degrees in the center. And we're going to call it 775 degrees, 76, 766, 766 for the outside. So Definitely heats up really well. It was even for a while, and once we got to the higher temps, it started dispersing that heat hotter on the outside rim, a little bit cooler uh, proportionally in the center. But the pan definitely has something that concerns me, which is this handle, and this handle gets really hot. This outside tip of this handle now is three, yeah, 361, 361. So definitely. I mean, it's funny, the different areas are different. If I hold it up to the upper left corner, I'm at 295, 300 degrees. If I hold it in the upper right corner, I'm at 281. If I hold it the lower right corner, I'm at, <laughs> wow. If I hold it below the center, right at low center, I'm hitting 400 plus degrees on this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off right now. So I'm back now to test my tried and true hex clad pan. I'll admit it, I love hex clad. I've had it for almost nine years, and every one of these pans has absolutely delivered. I've had no problem with peeling, and these are not meant to be a thousand. They're not advertised as a thousand. I would never cook at a thousand. I wanted to test this and see the evenness of the heat. The big thing is, I wanna test this stay cool handle and see how this is compared to the Always Pan uh, Pro Titanium, because that one got so hot, you burn the hell out of your hand without a glove. When I'm in the kitchen working, I don't wear gloves and I don't expect to wear gloves. Now, granted, I'm not gonna probably cook at that temperature, but you could see the heat was transferring up that handle and it got really, really bad, especially at the tip where you're gonna grab on always at that point, at the end of the handle, you're not gonna grab up here, you'll grab here. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna test this, see how the evenness is in the pan. And then we're gonna go ahead and check this, check the points, the connection points up into the stay cool handle and see at the tip, where this is at and I can tell you there's a hole here to hang it which obviously should disperse some of the heat but I'm really curious what the heat's going to be in this. Let's go ahead and turn on our heat and we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. Now the one thing about the hex clad pan is it gets super hot on low heat so you don't need to have raging hot heat to get this thing hot. So we're going to start this at uh, medium high and again this is not really to compare the temperatures. It's to compare the heat distribution and more importantly how hot this handle gets compared to the any pro. I don't have any other pans because I'm an all hex clad kitchen so that's why I'm using my hex clad pan. Let's go ahead and let this heat up and we'll go ahead and see what it looks like in just a minute. Now I'm going to go ahead and start this up and see where we're at. We're at uh, a nice cool uh, about 150 degrees already as soon as I turn it on this pan starts getting hot very very quickly. And we'll go to the center. 
Center is about 168 degrees right now. So we're gonna go ahead and let this, this was in a cool area. So we're gonna go ahead and set this over here. We're gonna let this heat up and we'll be back in just a minute when this thing should be really hot. Probably won't get any smoking because there's no oil on this pan. Unlike the Always Pan Pro Titanium that they say requires oil to be left on it after you clean it and store it, you do not need oil and I do not recommend just leaving oil in the pan on at least with the hex cloud because you don't need it. Okay, so I have this pan heating up. We've got a little bit of smoke coming off this thing, probably from just a residual. Uh, might be a little tiny bit of oil on there. I usually wash them really good and I just dry them. I don't scrub them or anything um, when I clean these. So it's gonna smoke anyway. The smoke will burn off in a second. We're gonna go and see now what the temperature is. It's been on for about four or five minutes. Let's go and check the center. And we're at 497 degrees. I'm actually gonna turn down the heat because I don't wanna blow these pans at like 600, I never cooked that high. So there we go. That's the center. Uh, so we'll do it one more time. Center of the pan is five, 510. Okay, and then we're gonna go to the outside of the pan and see what that is at the bottom base. And we're at 506, damn near on the money. We'll check this one down here as well. Uh, give it again here. And we're at 525, it's still gonna heat up a little bit. 525, 523, 522. This is around the perimeter of the edges. Down at the base, we've got 520, 517. Very, very even. We'll go up to the very top now. This section up here, very top. And we're gonna get some discoloration that'll clean off. And we're at, uh, we're at 470 at the top. Let's go up here, 470. It's five, climbing to 512, 510. 510 at the top of the rim here. Let's go up at the top up here. See where we're at on that. 493. And let's go to the center again. We're at about five, about 517. No more smoke, anything burnt off that was on there. So it's holding steady at 516. And let's go ahead and check this edge here. And we're at about 480, 480-ish it looks like. So a little bit cooler up at the top on this one. And the key thing we're gonna do now is I'm gonna turn this around. I'm not gonna touch this first because I don't know if it's hot or not. Because Normally it's not hot, but we're gonna just spin this around like so. Well, let's do this. So we're gonna go ahead and take this at five, this is 500, five, call it 516. And now we're gonna grab this handle, which I would not grab on the Pro. We're gonna turn it around and it is ice cold. This is an ice cold, even up here it's cool. Right here is cool, I can hold this. No problem, not burning myself whatsoever. Let's go ahead and check the temp on the outside here and see what this is. Where it connects to the pan, uh, it should be pretty hot, I expect that. Okay, we're at uh, four, about 416, 416. Let's go up onto the braces here. The braces, uh, we're at, let me get the, it's kind of narrow here. About 113, so it's hot, but 113, you'd be like, a, oh, it's hot, I'm not gonna hold it, but it's not gonna cause a blister instantly. Then we're gonna go up here. This is, this is where you work, right, all the time, working up here. So I'm grabbing onto this. It feels nice and cool. Let's go ahead and check this handle. And the handle is about 100, looks like about 108. Try it again here. 104, 100, it's about 111, it says 111. I guess we're 98.6, so 111 is what? It's like 10 or 12 degrees. I mean, it's actually slightly warm. Now that I put my hand on it, I'm holding it, but I mean, it's, yeah, I can do this all day. Totally cool, no problem. We're at uh, 500 and again, 518. I mean, the heat on this at least is, is really consistent. Uh, at the end, 500, 501. So it got a little bit warmer. So about an 18 degrees variance from the very end up the top down to the center. If we go around, we're at 525, 28, 27, 530, 529, 526, 531. Very, very even around the perimeter. So about kind of the same result. But the big thing is at the tip here, if we go to the tip, we're at 97.9 degrees. So this is spin out here in the air. This is below your body temperature at this very tip. So it's really cool. And again, this has been on now for about, what, almost 10 minutes, I think, eight, 10 minutes. And to me, it's, it's ice, when you touch it, it's ice cold. So when it comes to a stay cool handle, the hex clad, 
absolutely delivers. I, that's why I love Hexclad. And the Always Pan Pro Titanium was definitely an epic fail when it came to the handle. I would not use this on a hot stove and grab that thing, especially at the end because it's absolutely gonna burn you. Um, when it was at almost 700 degrees, it was scorching uh, in the three, 400 degree range on the outside. So if it was at 500 degrees, it still might be, you know, 200, 250 on this outside and you're gonna burn yourself. So again, this is still going, the gas is still on, it is still hot and it is still 500 and about 530 degrees in the center of a little bit. So when it comes to the pans and the Always Pan Pro, I think that when it comes to the handle, it is not a stay cool handle. And if you have that pan really hot, you better wear one of these or you're gonna burn yourself. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Wait, episode three is coming up. We're gonna be doing the scratch test to see if we can cause some damage with our pan using metal utensils. Until the next time, smoke on, baby!